The Card Builder is an app that lets you create your own applications, including web pages, forms, and more. In this video, we'll add our own custom style to an event card using the Cardstack themer. This card is a ticket to a launch party, and right now it uses the standard default styles. This is what you get after you've created some fields on the card. What we're aiming to create are styles that match our designer's mockup of the card. From the browser, we'll write some CSS to make this card look just how we want. Exciting, unique, and on brand. First, let's open up the themer. To begin, let's add that yellow background color. If we want to make changes to this color, we can use the built-in color picker to make adjustments, and then Control z or Command-Z to undo our changes. Let's also add in our font and some padding. Every time I make a change, I can see an instant preview of it. I have the option to style each section of this card individually, but sometimes I want to style them all together as a group. So let's make a change that affects all the fields at once. We're adding this dark background color to every single field on our card. But I want to remove the background color for our title field. The next thing I'll do is add a logo for the event. So this is a URL that links to that image and displays it and some CSS to help arrange it on the page and set the size. Next, I'll make all of the labels red using just one rule. In the mockup, not every label gets displayed, so let's hide some of them. Next, let's handle the QR code. It needs to be much smaller and round. I'm going to use a standard feature of CSS called CSS Grid in order to arrange the content on the page in the order that I want into the correct columns and rows. Next, let's style the VIP guest ticket header. The divider on our ticket is represented as a dotted line. So let's make that change here. We're gonna use an image in order to create that dotted line effect. Now for some of the finishing touches. Our attendee's name needs to be more prominent and we want it to say, my name is, ahead of it. Lastly, some of our fields, like the date and the number of tickets, have an icon that shows up before them. And we'll add a tickets label after our number of tickets. So with that, we're done. Let's comment out our CSS to see where we started from and how it looks now. You might be wondering what's coming next for the themer features. Although the card we made today looks dramatically different than what we started with, most of the time we just need to make small adjustments to a card's style, like font size, color, and spacing. In the future, these small adjustments can be made without CSS. No matter what kind of card you're building, you can make it your own using the Cardstack themer.